you can see that is perfectly flat. And today I want to talk about uh, laminated timber. Because a lot of people, when they see laminated timber, it's basically strips or pieces of timber. In fact, like this weight top here, this beach weight top, made up out of all the pieces of timber all glued together. That's called lamination, when you laminate two pieces together. Now, it's not only timber, it's fabric and everything can be laminated, so it's not just timber. But when timber's laminated, a lot of people think it's done so that companies can use all their scraps of wood up and whatnot and make money out of it. And it's not really, that's not the real reason. Hi everybody, and I hope you're enjoying this video on Mixed Woodwork Wonders. And if you are, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like and share button, and drop us a comment. Okay, that's enough from me, back to the video. This is a piece of uh, timber that's not laminated. So this is just a normal piece of timber that's been cut from a tree. And you can see the annular rings on the end, if you look very closely there, you see. Uh, and what happens uh, when timber's like this is it'll move because it's, it's one solid piece. So as the timber, because it's a natural product, as it dries out and cures and gets used to the humidity in the uh, room or wherever it is, it will, it'll start to move. Just to show you that, I'm just gonna show you that, if you can see that there, can you see that? That's not perfectly flat. That is because it's not laminated. Now, the alternative to that is laminated wood, which is, if you can see that, it's hard to see, but it's like strips. There's one to there, one to there, one to there, and so on. And there's strips of timber that's glued together. So it's not one piece of timber. It's strips that have all been laminated together. What this does is this keeps it a lot more stable. It stops the timber from moving, uh, so you get virtually no movement. Just to prove that, I'll do the same trick again. You can see that is perfectly flat. There's no movement. And that's been in the workshop for months, this piece. And as you can see, it's uh, cold in here this morning until the heater warms the place up. And so it's, uh, it just doesn't move with any, you know, changing the temperature. So that's why they laminate timber. Laminated timber, you will find it in things like these pine boards. Uh, we buy these and we cut them for drawers and things. These come in panels of three meter length by uh, 600 mil wide. So uh, you get like a big uh, sheet of pine board. Uh, you can also buy hardwoods, uh, oaks and things in laminated boards. But the ideal for sort of kitchen cabinets and things like that because they're nice and flat to work with. Don't get me wrong, I've got a pine board down there at the moment and that's killed a little bit. So sometimes you will get movement. It's not guarantees you won't get any movement, but it's a lot less likely to move if it's laminated. So I uh, hope that's helped you with that. So as I say, if you're using solid pieces of timber like this, just bear in mind, they might move. And uh, you'll show you again, you'll end up with that sort of effect, you see, you've got like a gap there. But if you want something that's gonna stay flat and be a lot easier to work with, then definitely go for a laminated board. So I hope that's helped you with the lamination. So it's not companies just using all their scraps up off the floor. It is done for a reason. And uh, that reason is to try and stop timber movement because timber, is a natural product and it will naturally move.